Hey guys, what's going on? It's YT920. Last time, this time we are back with Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney Dual Destiny is a little under the weather, so stay uh, with... Um, trying to understand that my voice is not going to be as amazing for these voices that I do for this game. But I digress. I left you on kind of a cliffhanger last time, so let's begin. Silence! <laughs> this is a dark age of law where defense attorneys are not to be trusted. This is but a ploy to gain time for them to fabricate evidence. How will I, how will I sleep tonight? Knowing you will not let the sun rise on the mayor's day of reckoning. Justice, Dono! Objection! I won't fabricate any evidence. Silence. Silence! Then prove it by joining me. A knight and a clink will ensure you will not succumb to temptation. How about I just promise not to succumb to anything? We have both evidence and confession. The killer is the yokai before us. It is beyond dispute. A guilty verdict is all but... What's wrong with him? Prosecutor Blackwell, you've had enough, your hijinks. Foundation of justice is fair play, and you are in serious violation of that. <sighs> what in the devil was that? Fool Bright, have you tampered with my shackles in some manner? Ha ha ha! It seems you found that quite shocking. It's my special jolt of justice device. Each press is a shocking reminder to behave. You shall pay for this. I, Simon Blackwell, vow to... <laughs> your Honor. You need not fear now. I believe Prosecutor Black will remain on his best behavior. A bit late with the reassurances, aren't we, Detective? Well, well, in that case... Ahem, this concludes today's deliberations. The prosecutions and defense will use this opportunity to further their investigations. This court is adjourned. I'm in love with the court girl. To be continued... Save the game, yes, monstrous turnabout. April eighteenth, one twenty PM. Write anything agency. Having a Yokai testifying court is unprecedented to say the least. I'm Ten Mataro, the Yokai you seek. How could such a straight-faced man like Mr. Tenma suddenly become a demon? Yeah, it's strange. Even worse, Prosecutor Blackwell was playing along. So I can't even think straight anymore. I need to go out for a run. See you in a bit. Wait, what about the investigation? Back! Eek! Whoa, whoa, true seek. Welcome back. Oh, you're in your stage outfit. Back from work? Yep, I really nailed this magic trick I've been working on. I also heard about those tricks that were conjured up in court earlier today. You know the demon out of no out of nowhere trick and Polly's tight rope style defense trick? I was seriously considering disappearing on my own after all that craziness. Anyway, our next trick is to find a suspect other than the mayor. I know the killer must have been used the air duck in their escape. And whoever did that was Ted Mataro that Mr. Filch and Jinxie saw, right? Maybe there's some evidence in the air duct. The real fight starts right now. Hey, before you go, let me make the evidence you no longer need disappear. But I need that. Three, two, one, and ta-da. Unnecessary evidence has disappeared into Trucy's magic panties. What? I wonder where all that stuff goes. Magic panties, you'll say? Okay, let's get over to the scene of the crime. V vamanos, Apollo, vamanos. Man. The plot thickens. April 18th, QB Mano, Fox Chengbu. Detective Fulbright, mind if we search the air duct? Well, since you really are on the side of justice, I suppose I can let you. Plus, my own sense of justice has been called into doubt, so. Hmm. Wonder if he's been like this ever since the trial. Well, his sense of justice has been beaten to a pulp. It'll probably take a while for him to recover. I sort of feel bad for him, but we have to work to do. Let's go get the evidence we need. Air duct is the key. We know Tamataro person who used to make an escape. After murdering the alderman, the killer left the fox chamber through the hallway door. 
And then after locking the door from the outside, the killer entered the air duct in the hallway. Finally, the killer dropped the key into the fox chamber through the air vent here. Then went back through the duct and fled the manor. Oh my gosh. That's how the illusion of no one entering and leaving the locked room was created. If the killer passed through the air duct, maybe we'll find some evidence there. Yeah, maybe some black feathers or something like that. Well, here's our vent. It's awfully high up. Don't worry, I brought a stepladder. Happy hunting. How nice of her to volunteer me for the job. Yes, very nice. I'm so duffy. Whoa, it's pitch black in here. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> There's a thick layer of dust in here. <coughs> Whee! Sputter, cough, cough. I don't get it. Find anything? Yikes, Apollo, what happened? You're covered in dust. Yeah, dust. Lots of dust. So what'd you find? You know how dust collects on something when nobody uses it for a long time? Yeah, like Mr. Ray's desk back in the office? Right. You think it'd be possible to crawl over that sort of dust without leaving a trail? I seriously doubt it. Wait, you're not suggesting... No one's gone through that duck lately. Kind of looks that way. And if it's true, Mayor Tamla is going to be fingered as a killer. Boop, 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 boop. If we don't turn these things around quickly. Injustice we trust. Back. Ha ha ha. Sorry, Mr. Justice, but it seems your justice was not the most just after all. It's my such justice that has prevailed. Arr. Detective Fulbright sure seems chipper all of a sudden. Ugh, and I'm back to my old devastated self. Aw, oh, come on, where's that never say die spirit? Bring it on, Mr. Lawyer Man, bring it on! Let me suffer in peace. Ha ha ha! Justice prevails once more! It's not over yet, and besides, kicking someone when they're down is what bad guys do. Hey! Are, are you calling me a bad guy? Me, Bobby Fulbright, champion of justice? Then how about some information on the investigation? We need some help here. Information about the investigation? All right, but I won't have you calling me a bad guy ever again. Understood? We did it, Apollo. Yeah, but how long can we keep this up? I can't believe Prosecutor Bracco will stoop that low. I mean, he's pinning the blame on a yokai. He really wants conviction at all costs. She could give a yokai a run for its money when she's mad. Yes, well, I have him writing a self-reflective essay as we speak. I doubt that'll teach him anything. Yeah, he'll probably just write dotard a thousand times. That whole yokai business is most likely a play only two can win a conviction. Truth is, Prosecutor Blackwell believes Jinxie Tenma planted that yokai stuff. Planted it in an effort to protect her father, the real killer. Yeah, right, I'd like to see him prove it. Whoa, calm down. He doesn't have any direct evidence. But we did find this. It was at the base of the cliff just off the QB matter. Wait. That isn't the staff that Tamataro is supposedly carrying, is it? The one and only. Miss Tama no doubt tossed it over the cliff when she was done. No way. What, what, what about Prince? Nope. No Prince, but she was wearing a costume. There wouldn't be any anyway. Well, Prince or no Prince, it's not going to work in our favor. Sounds like the staff might have belonged to the mansion. But if that's the case... Then where in the mansion did Tamataro get it from? Did Prosecutor Blackwell figure out that the victim was the Amazing Hightails? He did indeed. He's a sharp one, all right. He figured it out while investigating the municipal merger and the victim's past. The Amazing Hightails sparked the yokai craze and worked against the merger. Mayor Damien Tamataro is a corrupt politician who murdered that great hero. The Amazing Hightails fans are so angry they even tried to storm the detention center. I don't blame them. I mean, their favorite mass wrestling hero was murdered. They must have been shocked when they found out what happened. Speaking of which, isn't Jinxie also a fan of the Amazing Nine Tails? A wrestler is massing most precious as a wife. He never will mask himself in front of others. But there are a lot of matches where wrestlers battle for the white to remove each other's masks. To have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a wrestler can suffer. 
That's why the masks are more important to them than wife itself. She spoke with a passion that only a fan could appreciate. We gotta become fans ourselves and go protest in front of the prison. What? No! Did you forget that Mayor Tama is not only Jinx's father, but our client? Oh, yeah. You be careful now. You're defending the most hated mayor in history. I just hope you find yourself on the wrong end of the figure four leg lock. Maybe I should wear a mask to hide my identity. Are there any other new developments we should know? Now that you mention it. Our suspect is suffering partial memory loss, but he did manage to remember something. He did. What did he say? He said he didn't want to speak with us. His exact words, I am under no obligation to speak with you mortals. And other things of that nature. I wonder what Mayor Tama remembered. Too bad you can't go ask him now, because Prosecutor Blackwell is busy questioning him. I know, why don't you wait down at the playground with the rest of the kids? Haha. Uh -huh. What now, Apollo? How about regrouping back in the agency? Good idea, we might get some words of wisdom out of Mr. Wright while we're there. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Eh, can't present anything. Oh, well. Oh, whoops. Let's go, let's go to move. Right, anything agency. April 18th, right, anything agency. Maybe I'll go read over some past cases. And I, wait, I, and I'll go do some research on exorcism. Hey, what's with you guys? You seem bumped out. How should I put this? It's like we're at the edge of a cliff and there's only one way and only ways down. In other words, business as usual, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Except this time, it's like we're bound to gag too. Don't forget blindfold with our ears plugged up. Oh, and monsters at every turn, huh? Sounds rough. Hey, Apollo. Oh, and Athena's here too. Mr. Wright. How goes the investigation, Apollo? Ooh, Athena. I think it's safe to say that things have gotten hairier than before. Really? What happened? I was watching the two of you this morning from the gallery. That was one tough day in court, to say the least. I know, I've never had to defend a yokai before. That business about the locked room was another major hurdle. Yeah, and on top of that, Jinxie was accused of being an accomplice. But at least you figured out how someone could have escaped the Forbidden Chamber. Yeah, well, we just found out that our reasoning might be a tad flawed. Oh, really? Well, that's bad news. How are we going to get out of this one? <laughs> the worst times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Force? A smile? Yeah, my mentor taught me that, back when I was still learning the trade. She also taught me to return to the basics whenever I got stuck. Return to the basics? That's right, always believe in your clients, no matter what happens. That is a lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon. The basics? Always believe in your client, huh? So, Mr. Wright, how long have you known Athena? I met her during a trip to Europe. Huh? Y you were in Europe? Why haven't I heard about this before? Yeah, I went there a few times to study the various legal systems over there. Oh, okay, er, wait a minute. I thought you worked as a pianist after you quit practicing law. Yeah, I did, but an old friend of mine needed help with some legal work from time to time, so... Oh, I guess you were never very far from the courtroom then. It was like fate brought us together. It's thanks to Mr. Wright that I became a lawyer at all. <laughs> I knew she was a lower amateur from the moment I met her. And I have high hopes for her ability to analyze people's emotions. Aww, it's nothing special. Maybe I've underestimated that analytical psychology of her. It's just I thought that if my special ability could help defend innocent people, then I'd have to do everything in my power to bring it to the courtroom. That's when I really started hitting the books hard. Yeah, I'm still amazed she actually became a lawyer, and at the tender age of 18, no less. Wow, that's almost superhuman. Or personal. It's like she trying to help somebody she knows? Alright, I'm totally pumped up after talking to you, Mr. Wright. It's like you said the worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. And don't forget to return to the basics whenever you get stuck. Keep believing in my client, right? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? I'm... I'm going to go visit our client again. I think that's a good idea. All right, time to see what's new down at the detention center. Ah, my nose, I thought, Daffy.